Who on earth would want a CPU cooler that looks like this? I mean, it just looks like it was designed by someone who forgot what a CPU cooler looks like halfway through designing it. However, in fact, top flow coolers like this one, I mean, they're some of the oldest coolers around going all the way back to when CPUs first needed active cooling. But now with most people moving towards vertical heat sinks with vertical fans, who on earth would still want a CPU cooler that looks like this? And what kind of benefits can it bring? And clearly be quiet still for there is the mileage we had with this type of CPU cooler, because they just released the Be Quiet Dark Rock TF2. So is it any good? And what exactly are the benefits of having a CPU cooler that looks like this? Well, let's talk about it, shall we? So as you can probably tell by the name, the TF2 is Be Quiet's second attempt at turning their insane Dark Rock cooler into a top flow design. And right at the bat you can tell that despite its unconventional shape, it is supposed to be a super high end cooler, given the fact that it's rated by 230 watt TDP, meaning that it's mainly designed to handle super hot and super highly overclocked CPUs. But if you at least have a pair of eyes that are at least somewhat functional, like my own, then you can probably just look at the thing and tell it means business. With two heat sinks, six, six millimeter heat pipes going every which way, and not to mention two of Be Quiet's super quiet Silent Wings fans that keep the whole thing super cool. I mean, this thing just screams cooling. But how well is it exactly cool? So once again, I lined up my test bench starring AMD's rather hot running AMD FX 8350 CPU. At idle, it averaged out to a very cool 18 degrees, but let's be honest, idle isn't the best way to judge a CPU cooler's performance, so let's make this thing sweat. And at pretty much every single heavy workload I threw at it, it maintained a nice and cool temperature, beating out every single other CPU cooler we're comparing it to. But seeing how it's rated for a 200 130 watt TDP, well, it's no surprise it's performing this well. So if it performs so well, now of course leads to the obvious question of why you'd want to consider going for top flow cooler like this one. Well, firstly, it's just in case you have a case, uh -huh, that has a very specific way of handling its airflow. In most situations, a standard vertical cooler makes sense because air comes in at the front, goes through the fan and the heatsink, and is exhausted out the back in a nice linear way. But now with the rise of very compact cases, well, that isn't always the case. And you might get airflow coming from another direction. For example, going directly towards the CPU socket rather than from the side. And in those instances, a top flow cooler like this one is extremely good. And compact cases may be one of the areas where this cooler finds the most success because those usually tend to have bad airflow. So having the best possible CPU cooler to kind of mitigate the poorer airflow of the case itself will be a great thing for you to manage your thermals. Or maybe you just simply like the look of the cooler. Maybe you're living more of a rebellious lifestyle and you want to break free of the standard vertical coolers that we've been so used to for so long. And of course, top flow coolers have amazing memory clearance because they don't interfere with that part of the motherboard pretty much at all. But do you remember how in my Shadow Rock Slim 2 review I said that CPU coolers with great memory clearance may be the future because of how hot memory starting to get. Well, that should prove my powers of clairvoyance enough because recently Corsair has come out and said that the brand new DDR5 memory is gonna run super hot and that they had to completely redesign the cooling system. So that's all the reasons why you may want a top flow cooler, but why this one specifically? Well, as you can imagine, seeing how it's from Be Quiet, it is extremely quiet. And even when the fans were ramping up during some of these tests I ran, it was completely inaudible, even outside of a PC case. The mounting system is also super easy to use. It supports pretty much all the Intel and AMD sockets you may want, and the system is almost identical to the Shadow Rock CPU coolers I've shown off before, so that's awesome. Because like I said in those reviews, well, if I could marry a CPU mounting system, I would marry this one. And even with the unconventional design, you will still find that mounting the CPU cooler is rather simple. There's these gaps inside the heatsink arrays that allow you to reach down and screw in the two screws that mount the cooler itself to the mounting hardware on the motherboard. And as an extra bonus, those little gaps addressed was always one of my biggest issues with Be Quiet coolers. And that's the fact that you may struggle a bit to get the CPU fans on. It does take some strength to get it on, which usually just resulted in hurting fingers and also bent heatsink fins. Thankfully, these little gaps allow for a much easier mounting of the CPU fans. Though it doesn't quite fix the issue of the process bending some of your heatsink fins. Oops, uh, I'm sure Be Quiet will get there one day. 
what about the price? Well, with it costing $85.90, for your regional equivalent, it is definitely not a cheap CPU cooler, and we've definitely reviewed more affordable CPU cooling options on the channel before, but also none of those options could get you as much cooling as this does. Because again, this thing is rated at 230 watts, and that kind of cooling will never come cheap. And besides, if you are running a CPU that requires that kind of cooling, well, you can't really cheap out there, and you are going to pay a lot for the privilege of having a higher performance that comes with a higher heat output. So in summary, the Dark Rock TF2 by Be Quiet may not be the most conventional cooler, but regardless, does everything right. It has an amazing mounting mechanism, its rated TDP is insanely high, and it is almost inaudible. And in a price that's still reasonable for this kind of grade of CPU cooler. Because again, if you have a CPU that runs this hot, you cannot, cannot cheap out on a CPU cooler. And if you want to buy this thing or other Be Quiet CPU coolers I've reviewed before, then definitely check out our Amazon Associates links, which are going to be down in the video description below. Also, hey, if you want to see more reviews like this in the future, then supporting my channel on Patreon is a great way of ensuring that happens, because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping out this channel, and allows us to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, FKB, Meg Sumner, Blake Drake, Shane Woolcroft, and Lance B. Thank you guys so so much support truly goes a long way. Down there you also can find our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really, and also our social media links. And seeing how the NDA for this has been now passed, I'll be posting tons of great pictures of this thing on social media. So again, check it out if you want. But anyway, that's what it is, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good bye. Oh,